hi guys a very warm welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for tuning in today i'm doing um some sort of interview video and i'm here with the founder of dewpoint naturals madam charity mudoni karibu charity thank you so much edna for having me perhaps you can start by telling us who is dewpoint naturals um dewpoint naturals is a i like to say is a skincare and hair care hub mm -hmm. because um you're sure to get all your favorite body butters hair products natural products like the oils you know all that stuff mm -hmm. yes why the name dupoi naturals why not charity why not mudoni why dupoi naturals um of course um in every company there's that face when you know you're there looking for a name and you know wondering which name will fit for what mm -hmm. so we were in that process and we thought of dew point because if you go back to science in um, in school mm -hmm. dew point is that uh, point when humidity condenses to become water mm -hmm. and that water is dew mm -hmm. and dew is very important to the plants mm -hmm. because it provides moisture so we thought of uh, giving you know our brand something related to that because one of the uses mm -hmm. for the products mm -hmm. is to provide moisture uh, um provide moisture provide you know that freshness after you apply the products and yeah we we thought the name is is fit for that mm -hmm. and also it's unique oh. what made you choose to play in the natural hair and skincare you know industry why not other industries um did you grow up thinking i'd like to start such such a business in such an industry or did you go through something that pushed you towards that path of course i went through something mm -hmm. that i that, that triggered me to the idea of starting this whole thing up mm -hmm. perhaps let me take you back to how it all started and mm -hmm. give you a story of mm -hmm. you know the, the the idea behind or how it all came to birth mm -hmm. it was back in 2016 when it was at this point when i was really done and fed up with you know the acne that was on my face mm -hmm. and of course this is something that i've gotten from so many ladies mm -hmm. you know that they've reached the end so this is something which is normal with mm -hmm. with ladies like you try this product and you try the other one then it's not working mm -hmm. and then you, you you just decide you know what you this face <laughs> is I, i i just give up mm -hmm. so it had reached that point but before I was like done completely I met a friend mm -hmm. a friend who happens to be my partner mm -hmm. or my co-founder and he introduced me to two products that is shea butter and black soap so and I if you ask me right now this is something that you will realize when I'm showing you the products you realize most of my products mm -hmm. will not miss shea butter and african black soap for example the shower gel and the shampoo you'll realize that the main ingredient for the shampoo is the african black soap mm -hmm. so that tells you that these products are my holy grail mm -hmm. because we, what, what they did um i started using the product of course and mm -hmm. my friend had really hyped the product to me mm -hmm. and two three months later i can tell you for a fact i had seen a huge difference because what would happen before I would use a product mm -hmm. two three weeks later even one month mm -hmm. there is a huge difference but maybe i as i take time as i took time to using the products the problem will recur, recur. will mm -hmm. recur again so it was different from this product mm -hmm. so i was super excited so now at this point um an idea struck both of us and we decided to make the products available to the nairobi market at a fair price and we thought this this is something that would you know change people's lives because mm -hmm. i'd introduced the same same products mm -hmm. to some of my friends and you know the overwhelming feedback is what really pushed us to start something and make this product available mm -hmm. as much as we can so that's how the natural was born yes okay broadly talk about your product categories um the products that you have in the market in terms of skincare and hair care So um yes we we have skincare and hair care products and maybe I can start with the skincare products. Mm -hmm, yeah. Let me first start with the holy grail product the two products that I first used mm -hmm. and worked for me the African black soap. Mm -hmm. This is one of the product that really worked for mm -hmm. me. This is the African black soap that I was talking about. Yeah. And this thing the good thing about this product is 100% natural. Mm -hmm. So you're very sure that 
even a kid mm-hmm. a newborn baby can can use this product so many people say that oh african black soap is drying yes yeah, uh, i get pimples i i do this and that mm-hmm. but all i can tell you african or not not only african black soap any cleanser after you cleanse your face it's always a good idea to moisturize your skin mm-hmm. because you fail to moisturize your skin you you will just give your you you'll just stress up your sebum your natural oils from being produced so that they can cancel the the dryness mm-hmm. so if you have an oily skin just use um a bit of a moisturizer a little goes a, lo- a, a long way and if you have a dry skin you can just maybe increase the the mm. amount of moisturizer so these products use. can be used by somebody who has dry skin oily skin normal skin yes yes yeah. the only difference comes in when you're using the moisturizer because if you have a dry skin mm-hmm. you just increase the amount of the moisturizer that you use if you have a, an oily skin you reduce the amount of the moisturizer that you use on your skin mm-hmm. so african black soap is very crucial its benefits are endless it has so so many benefits you can use it on your hair as well mm-hmm. and then the other product is um raw shea butter now we have two shea butters we have the nilotica shea butter and mm-hmm. we have the ghanaian or west african shea butter the difference between the two this one is from northern uganda this one is from west africa hence the word the west african shea butter mm-hmm. and then the other difference is this one is a bit is soft it's not actually it's very a bit mild soft it's soft it's very soft mm-hmm. and this one is hard mm-hmm. but in terms of uh, the, the, the uses yes mm-hmm. this one is mild mm-hmm. this one has that nutty smell which mm-hmm. is a bit you know more or noticeable than the nilotica shea butter in terms of uh, the uses like if you ask me which mm-hmm. one benefits your skin more mm-hmm. both of them are you know are they, they work the same mm-hmm. but if you ask me which is the best i'll mm-hmm. actually go with the nilotica shea butter because of the fact that it's soft mm-hmm. and absorption is faster with mm-hmm. the shea but with the nilotica shea butter mm-hmm. so those are the few differences with the shea butter mm-hmm. and myself when i was working on my skin this is what i used the west african shea butter that's the one Then, you started with yes this is what i used before mm-hmm. because i had not known about the ugandan shea butter more mm-hmm. i think then i think it it has to do with um because people knew about this first you know first than yeah. this one and most people believe cocoa and all that is from exactly. west africa <laughs> exactly so yeah. those are that is african black soap and shea butter so with time we found the need to come up with a day cream because we didn't have a day cream then mm-hmm. and as we all know rather many people don't know this but use uh, all natural oils and butters mm-hmm. it's advisable to use at night as when you use them in the morning and mm-hmm. go ex- uh, get exposed to the sun mm-hmm. they might turn you or darken your skin mm-hmm. so we came up with a day, day cream mm-hmm. which which we call shea butter face and body cream mm-hmm. now as i said most of our products will never miss shea butter like for the body butters and the hair products mm-hmm. shea butter is one of the main ingredients because as i said these two products the black soap and the shea butter those are my holy grail products and it is moisturizing shea yes butter. and it is moisturizing so this cream is um is very good for your skin, for your skin it it acts as a moisturizer we give it up to as a moisturizer mm-hmm. and also it will help to um you know moisturize your body in general mm-hmm. so when you're using this product you will not have to go and buy a a body, body cream lotion, yes yeah. a body lotion or something like that mm-hmm. so yeah and then still with time mm. we came up with exfoliant antibacterial solution now and this is, is a, my favorite by the way I've been exfoliant using it. yes you're using it edna and um <laughs> we we came up with exfoliant as a result of um we realized rather research has it there is a bacteria on our skin called p bacterium what p bacterium does is um you know naturally we have sebum mm-hmm. we have beat if you have an oily or a dry skin you have sebum on your skin mm-hmm. and to those people with sensitive skin they tend to produce more sebum and the bacteria will come and feed on the sebum Mm-hmm. and then the, the the bacteria will tend to uh infect the pore mm-hmm. yeah you understand that the sebum comes through to our skin through a pore mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so the bacteria comes to feed on the sebum and then in the process infects 
the poor mm -hmm. and then in the process you get breakouts and that's how you get breakouts most of the times mm -hmm. so we realized um this this will solve the condition because we this was after um so many clients came oh my skin is glowing but i can't stop to have these small bumps you know some 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 pimples you know at my cheeks or whatever so that's when now we decided to come up with this exfoliator we call it exfoliator mattifying antibacterial solution mm -hmm. this one as well will help mattify your skin it's, it's also a toner yes it's also a toner it acts as a toner so mm -hmm. this product um something uh, we put in mind as well is we really tried to make them cost effective because this is something that you will not need a toner when you're using this product mm -hmm. for the uh, moisturizer for the sheer butter you will not have to use a body cream when you're using Uh, you will not have to buy a body cream when you're using this one so it's more or less this product acts you know as moisturizers and these are things that you can use on your body as well so that is skin care of course we have a body lotion that we call shea butter body lotion mm -hmm. we also have um, oils oils that you can use on your skin as well on your face we have jojoba we very well know that jojoba is very good for your skin like mm -hmm. also for the uh oily skin uh people mm -hmm. you can use jojoba oil because it helps to give your skin that glow like mm -hmm. it mimics your natural oils mm -hmm. so instead of you looking shiny and all that mm -hmm. you look glowy you get the balance yes so switching from the skin care we have the hair care products as well mm -hmm. and uh, we have the curling cream made from the shea butter and other natural oils as well mm -hmm. and then we have the nourishing hair food now let me talk about nourishing hair food what mm -hmm. it does mm -hmm. nourishing hair food if you have an itchy dry flaky scalp this is the product for you mm -hmm. as it helps to moisturize it helps to prevent dandruff itchiness and all that it's a very very good product it has rococo butter it has shea butter it has avocado oil mm -hmm. black jamaican castor oil you can already count the goodness that inside <laughs> this product mm -hmm. then we have a leave-in conditioner rather we've tried uh, the skincare and the hair care uh, products we've really tried to come up with a regimen uh, to make sure that when you're coming to us mm -hmm. we have full a full range of products, range of products mm -hmm. that you can use like mm -hmm. if you want something from a pre poo to a to, to styling and mm -hmm. to styling i mean uh, to a curling cream we have all that because we have even a protein treatment mm -hmm. which is very good for the hair as well in terms of strengthening and all that so yeah that's do you have a moisturizing treatment no we don't have that yet but, but have... demand has it will work on that very soon yeah what are some of the key products like for somebody who doesn't have money to buy the whole the range whole of thing. products <clears throat> and maybe they want to start um they want to join team dupoint naturals mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are some of the products that you can tell them start with this as you get money to build your stash um, maybe start with this and then with time you can keep buying more Top and more the rest. yeah yes of course mm -hmm. that my holy grail products <laughs> the sheer butter and black soap because remember those are the two products that really worked for me mm -hmm. but as well with time we realized that there is that factor of you know sheer butter not being used in the morning mm -hmm. and the factor of the bacteria mm -hmm. so yes you can start with the sheer butter and african black soap mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. then as you stock up your pocket you can come get the the rest the, the exfoliator and the moisturizer the day moisturizer and in terms of hair care in terms of hair care you can start with a good shampoo mm -hmm. and of course um the deep conditioning treatment because mm -hmm. remember i told you our deep conditioning treatment the main ingredient there is mm -hmm. protein mm -hmm. and protein is very good for the hair in terms mm -hmm. of um strengthening the hair mm -hmm. you know um restoring the hair and so on mm -hmm. and uh, also to style your hair mm -hmm. take the curling cream you know so i can say for the hair you can start maybe with the shampoo mm -hmm. and then the condition deep conditioning treatment mm -hmm. and then the curling cream oh. yes let me take you back to skincare a bit mm -hmm. um for somebody who has bleached their skin maybe they're thinking about going back to the original you know skin color can this product sort that problem out definitely the products will do there's something called uh, evening out of the skin tone mm -hmm. and uh, this person who has bleached their skin and they want to go back natural they can actually use something like the african black soap and shea butter they will help them come back or bring back their 
Not original true. skin color. Mm-hmm. Even for somebody with hyperpigmentation, mm-hmm. you know, all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you can use African black soap and shea butter and you will see results. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody has come now to your shop and bought all the products. How do they use them step by step? So, um, you've come to our shop, mm-hmm. you've bought our products. The first step is cleansing. And um, many people will say that the African African black soap can be harsh on the skin and so on and so forth. I think um, they have learned so much from these products and mm-hmm. even have learned some few tips um, uh, of how t- tips of how to use the products effectively. Mm-hmm. The number one tip of using the African black soap for it to not be very harsh very harsh on the skin is gently be gentle on your skin when you're using the African black soap. Mm -hmm. Don't use things like, you know, facial brushes or even facial clothes Mm -hmm. when you're using the African black soap. Just use your hands? Yes, just use your palms when you're using the black soap. And the other thing that the black soap does, it helps to exfoliate, mild exfoliate. Let me just say mild exfoliate your skin. Mm -hmm. In this case, it helps to open up the skin pores. You realize at this stage, Mm -hmm. you'll not have to use uh, facial scrubs. Facial scrubs. Because mm-hmm. the African black soap is doing that for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And it's a mild exfoliator. So mm-hmm. you'll not have to worry about, you know, clogged pores and so on and so forth. So, forth. Mm-hmm. so the next step is uh, applying the exfoliator mm-hmm. antibacterial solution. Mm-hmm. So this one you use with a wet cotton wool. Mm-hmm. You use with a wet cotton wool and um, you leave it for five minutes. You mm-hmm. just maybe, uh, you, you, you wet the, the you use with a wet cotton wool and mm-hmm. wet the cotton wool with water. Mm-hmm. Then sprinkle, you know, some of the exfoliant on the cotton wool and use the cotton wool to dab your face. So after using the cotton wool, another advantage you'll realize, rather the, there's some things that you'll realize after using it, you realize that your skin will, like the cotton will be somehow dirty. So mm-hmm. it helps to draw impurities from the skin, mm-hmm. yeah? And on top of that, remember we said it helps to kill bacteria mm-hmm. on the skin. And it's also a toner. Exactly. I've been using it and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so you leave it for five minutes mm-hmm. to dry and mm-hmm. then now go to moisturizing. Mm-hmm. Use shea butter at night and then use the shea cream oh, during the during day. During the day. Yes, it's very, very simple. Mm-hmm. Like roughly 20 minutes you're done with this. It's a regimen. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's an easy skincare regimen. Exactly. Another thing that people look out for um, when buying products is sunscreen. Your products, do they have sunscreen or anything of that sort? No, we don't have a sunscreen yet, mm-hmm. but we are really thinking about that. Oh, about so in, a, in the near future, we'll mm-hmm. be having a sunscreen. Oh. So it's advisable mm-hmm. to have a sunscreen. Oh, a separated. You know? Yes, mm-hmm. we all know that the sun is the is one of the enemies of the skin. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes to aging, mm-hmm. sun can cause that. When it comes to sunburns and so on, mm-hmm. so it's very very good to invest on a good sunscreen. Oh, okay. In terms of the eyes, most of the products we buy they say um, avoid the eye area, don't use them around the eye area. Can somebody use your products around the eye area or no anything of that sort um naturally shea butter Mm -hmm. has an anti-aging property in it Mm -hmm. so that is something that you can consider applying Mm -hmm. around your eye area Mm -hmm. but we are also something is cooking we are in the process of coming up with an eye cream which will be launched very soon Mm -hmm. check out for that Mm -hmm. because it's we are in the process of sampling it Mm -hmm. and yes very soon it will be there and eye cream is very effective and crucial to your skincare products Mm -hmm. but yes as i said you can use the shea butter Mm -hmm. whichever shea butter the west african one or the nilotican one to you know to moisturize the eye area some people ask about having larger pores some have dark under eye circles some have an even skin tone. How can you help them? Can your product sort that? What is the solution? So naturally, we have uh, pores on our, on our skin. Uh, there's no any product out there that you can use and eliminate the pores. Mm-hmm. Because naturally, you have pores. Your skin is supposed to have pores. But if you realize that you have very large pores Mm -hmm. you know on your skin Mm -hmm. it simply means that there's something underneath your skin that is blocking the 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 the, the, the pore and hence it tends to look bigger so the solution to that is just simply finding using an exfoliator and remember the gist the african black soap can do that 
mm-hmm. perfectly mm-hmm. because it's a mild exfoliator and remember you're using it daily so mm-hmm. the effect is even more better and like exfoliators which you use maybe once twice once a month mm-hmm. you know yes what about dark under eye circles dark under eye circles is just investing on a good eye cream mm-hmm. you know uh, a good eye cream with will of course Uh, eliminate the problem also it will help with the eye bags and so on and so forth what is the one thing that sets you apart what is the one thing that somebody can look at and say i'll go the dew point way i can just say that our products are legit Mm -hmm. and for the raw products we package them as they come as we get them as we import them Mm -hmm. so and for the processed products we try and make them as natural as possible Patting short and it has to be related to hair and skincare. <laughs> well, um, so patting short, I can just say, let me start with skincare and say, look for products that actually work for your skin. And mm-hmm. uh, it's always a good idea, an added advantage. Before you purchase a product, mm-hmm. maybe research about the product, go to the reviews, see what people are talking about uh, that specific product. Mm-hmm. And also give the product time to work. Mm-hmm. Because for skincare, it's a bit tricky. You need time, you need to give the product time to actually work. And for the hair, look for a product that actually works for you. I think it's easy for you to tell whether a product is uh, will work for your hair because why do we buy hair products? We buy for, you know, easy manageability, you know, for moisture and so on. Mm-hmm. And if you buy a product and you realize that it's actually not giving not you the moisture, moisture that you want, mm-hmm. and for example, a leave-in conditioner is not detangling, or moisturizing your hair mm-hmm. as you want it mm-hmm. of course definitely you know that is not a product for you mm-hmm. so basically for skincare give them time mm-hmm. for hair care it's very very easy to tell if a product will work for you because I believe in for the deep conditioning treatment the protein treatment mm-hmm. uh, masks you can tell mm-hmm. that one at least you will need like a month to tell if it does the work in terms of you know um strengthening your hair and restoring your hair mm-hmm. but still a month is it's not too too long too long to mm-hmm. to tell that that so just patience work. yes patience yes, <laughs> yes the bottom line is patience mm-hmm. any advice for any young person just like you is interested in joining entrepreneurship or maybe starting a business not necessarily the hair and uh, skincare industry but just any industry general advice yeah um number one i can say have your vision mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. why do you want to do what you want to do have it right mm-hmm. write it down and even have a plan mm-hmm. of course mm-hmm. which brings us to the next step have a plan about how you're going to start all that mm-hmm. and when you have a plan get into whatever you want to get to to venture in mm-hmm. Um, knowing that you know you you are ready to expect anything, mm-hmm. and of course persistence and of course patience as well. So oh. I can say those are the few tips or mm-hmm. the few things that I can tell somebody out there who is you know about to you training. know yes. Yes. Okay, nice. And guys, Dupa Naturals have moved from Cube's Expedition to Sour Mall, and Sour Mall is next to Sasa Mall. Sour Sasa. Hmm. Can't be confusing, right? <laughs> anyway, they are at Sour Mall Exhibition number G16. Just as you're getting in, that's where Exhibition number G16 is. <laughs> and the mall is along Amoy Avenue in Nairobi. So in case you want to try out their products, you know where to find them. Sour Mall Exhibition number G16. <laughs> Now the exhibition is fully stocked with all their products including natural oils like moringa oil, jojoba oil, um, um, they also do have avocado oil and many more so check them out for more. <laughs>